Hello and welcome to another episode of the Steak Watch Show Night Edition. It's the same as last time, except a different guest. So let's get along with the news. Bit of news, news, news. Our first bit of news is about how Crowberry Animations released their new Supercell movie. It's absolutely amazing. It's super cool. It's about tornadoes and everything. You should go watch it. Our second bit of news is about Lost Dimensions 4. Oh my goodness, there's a Lost Dimensions 4! The third axe is gonna be amazing! And I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's just it's Lost Dimensions 4 and the third axe is gonna be amazing. And our final bit of news is about Stickbot 6 Anniversary Collab, where we basically recreate our favorite Stickbot Central series. It's really cool, you should go watch it. There's a bunch of people in it, including me, so please go watch it. And now on to the special guest! Now this person has really cool stick ball animations and a lot of cool series, so please welcome Team man Money Man! <laughs> My first question is, how did you come up with your channel name? So how I got my channel name is that a few years back in grade 2, I made a song about money and then all my friends started calling me Team man Money Man, and then I decided that was a great name for my channel when I first started. My next question is, how do you think you stand out among other sticktubers? How I think I stand out is that, uh, well, first of all, my mascot is in a bunch of videos, unlike a bunch of other channels. On your channel, you have two series, the Escape series and the Apocalypse series. How did you come up with these ideas? The inspiration for the apocalypse, it was from Wallace's Outbreak series. I mean, that is really good. You should check that out. And for the escape, well, it was, uh, the escape was inspired by many videos. My next question is, how do you think your channel grows so fast? Because at one point, you gained 75 subscribers a month. I think my channel is growing so fast because I don't really know, but it might be bouncing CO animation or whatever. Out of all the characters you've played in other people's videos, which one's your favorite? Okay, this is a very hard one. Uh, I don't really know. Uh, all of them are good. Currently, right now, you do mainly stigma videos. Do you have any plans to do any other type of videos? Well, I'm planning a, a flip equip video soon. Right now on your channel, a lot of your videos are set as for made for kids. Why is that? Well, stick bots are primarily targeted towards kids. And of course, I don't want to get sued by YouTube. So yeah. When did you first find stick bots? I first found stick bots when it was like in grade two again, and my friend gave me a stick bot. I lost it, and then I got some cr stick bots for Christmas. How do you come up with your ideas for your stick bot videos? How I come up with video ideas is that a bunch of people already mentioned this, but you look for an object and then say, What can a stick bot do with that? Or that would make a great video. And also, think of all the re situations that would happen in real life and make them into a video. Well, those are the questions. Thank you for coming on to Man Money Man, and good night, everybody. Bye.